Um, that's the difference between elite and just good. Uh, college football related. Georgia handles Florida despite it being, uh, if you just looked at a stat sheet, it looks like an even game. Uh, both teams turned the football over. Uh, the difference is Florida didn't score until late. They couldn't. And Georgia was able to score because of the turnovers. And they took advantage of short fields and, and their defense just being excellent. Uh, that's the difference between elite and just good. And, and Florida's a good team. Nothing close to great. And now Dan Mullen is feeling some heat based on the way the season is going, Chad. Yeah, Bruce Feldman and G. Allen Taylor have a story up at The Athletic. And the heading for the story is a quote. says, Florida, they just don't play hard. College football coaches on the growing gap between Florida and Georgia, and it's got a lot of anonymous SEC coaches taking some pretty vicious shots at Florida. Uh, their culture uh, saying that, you know, players out there, they got their shirts all over the place during warm-ups. There seems to be no plan for pregame stretch and warm-ups. It's just a very sloppy operation. Asking questions like, I don't even know what they're doing defensively at times. They've got two guys blitzing in the same spot. You can tell it's miscommunication. Uh, a lot of bad things being said about the Florida program under Dan Mullen. And Dan and, Mullen and, and is a getting very under Todd Grant and Todd Grant's a defense, but also Dan who goes, Mullen, who goes on the record to talk crap. Yes, and that's a problem, and that's why you're going to start seeing stories like this come out. But also, uh, Dan Mullen's decision to start Anthony Richardson, his first start in this game yeah. against Georgia, and he looks awful against that Georgia defense. There's a lot of talk about Dan Mullen being bad at picking the quarterback, but good at coaching the quarterback. Once he goes with the quarterback, weird. he, you know, Felipe Franks and, and Clay Travis talked about this on Saturday. The decision to stick with Felipe Franks over Kyle Trask looks looks awful. And only because Felipe Franks breaks his leg do you ever see Kyle Trask, who was great at Florida. Then Franks transfers out. Is it an, a su similar situation with Emory Jones versus Anthony Richardson? We're going to, have to see more from Richardson. He looked great against LSU, but he goes up against Georgia's defense and looks terrible in his first start. So a lot of questions led to Dan Mullen today at his press conference, uh, abruptly ending the press conference, canceling players' availability, and Florida now announcing no media availability the rest of the week after the questions he was receiving today. That'll fix everything. Yeah, I mean, that's... And there's a lot of uh, recruiting question marks. You know, now all of a sudden, Dan Mullen doesn't like to recruit. Is kind of the knock. Even coaches are saying, talk to any of the uh, high school coaches in Florida, Georgia, anywhere. It is a lifestyle for Kirby Smart and Nick Saban. Those guys love it. They devote their entire life to it, to having relationships with coaches, with players, with families, and recruiting. And it's much more of a chore for Dan Mullen. I immediately start thinking about, you guys will remember this, when we had Dan Mullen on our old show, mm -hmm. and he just flat out said, I'd love the opportunity to coach in the NFL. Was it the Rams? Yep. Uh, the, it was, was before they hired McVay. Yeah, and he was he did not he didn't squash any of the rumors about him wanting to leave for the NFL. So, look, Florida's that, in a that's, bad way. That's what rubs people the wrong way about him and Grantham is because he will sit down. That that was the week at the coaches' meetings where his name was being mentioned for the NFL job. He's not afraid to sit down and say, you know what, this is on the record. Here are my thoughts on this, Todd Grantham. Well, hey, what do you think about this week's challenge? Well, I think it's going to be a lot tougher than last week's challenge. Referring to the Tennessee Volunteers. There, there are ways to jab at opponents on the record that they take. And I think they actually, like, uh, behind the scenes laugh about or something. Whereas, and we you know, the, the Athletic, which is known for the off-the-record questionnaires across the league, a lot of coaches who won't do this will take jabs at them when they're down, which is exactly where Florida is. Now, the good news for the Gators, the next couple opponents, South Carolina, Samford, Missouri, Missouri, Florida State. Get healthy on that. They can turn things around and make it appear as though you can put some lipstick on the pig. But they're just a very good. They're just very, a good team. Very average. Best. Good team at best right now. That's the problem with Dan Mullen and what they have going on at Florida.